the answers to your questions. Grace, I'm going to start with you. This is from Madeline who tweeted us. She says, my hair is out of control this summer. How can I tame it in this humidity? Okay, Madeline, first thing you gotta do is you gotta start off with using a shampoo and conditioner that's made for defrizzing your hair. Mm -hmm. Really makes a difference. Next thing you wanna do is at least give your hair a deep treatment once a week to really infuse moisture back in there because that helps. Um, when you're drying your hair, don't rough it up. Yeah. Like just do it nice and smooth and take it, if not, use a microfiber towel because that will help to uh, withdraw the moisture out of your hair without disturbing the cuticle too much. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can do is if you're not letting your hair dry naturally, which is probably the best way to do it, is always, always, always use serums in your hair that helps to control the frizz and uh, the, the waywardness of the hair and all that. Yeah. If your hair is kind of wavy, but you have a little bit of um, uh, with frizziness to it, just take a bounce sheet to your hair. That oh, really yeah. helps and always finish off with serums that help to control the humidity for your hair. Okay, so add, yeah. add, add those add, oils add, and serums. Add, add. Oils and serums is your friend for this time of year. Okay. Um, if worse comes to worse, what I do, um, if I'm going outside, I put my hair up in a chignon or something to protect it against the humidity when you walk outside because sometimes that's really it. You're mm -hmm. trying to get from your cab to the, the location you gotta go to or from your bus to the to work. Yeah. Just protect your hair, keep it up, wrap it up in a, in a chignon or something. Right. When you get to work, you drop it and be like, yeah, Yes, I didn't have a hair problem today. <laughs> <laughs> hair problem? What hair yeah, problem? Yeah, hair problem. Perfect. I don't have those. <laughs> Love it. All right, Philippe, this one's for you. Cassandra sent us a question uh, via Facebook. How do I protect my hair from chlorinated pools? So a lot of people having some fun in pools, swimming. What do you do to protect the hair? It can well, be damaging. Summer's here in that heat. You're really tempted to just dive in head first. The idea is, is hair's like a sponge. Mm -hmm. And if you introduce dry hair into that chlorinated water, your hair is going to absorb a lot of that chlorinated water. Uh -huh. So what you want to do is pre-rinse. Wet your hair first. Very important. If the hair is already saturated with moisture, there's less chance of that chlorine penetrating the shaft. Oh, that's interesting. Right. And as well, what you want to do is you can p protect the hair <clears throat> with a little bit of an argan oil. A little bit of an argan oil, coconut oil. You know, I, you know, there's so many oils out there right now. You just take a little bit of that oil and put it through the, the saturated hair, comb it through, and your hair will be well protected. Also, after you're done swimming, Rinse your hair or, shower, or wash your hair. Mm -hmm. Get rid of that residue so that it doesn't have a chance to penetrate the hair shaft. Okay, all sorts of things you can do to protect your hair. Palma, this is another uh, Facebook question for you, this time from Tatiana. Can taking vitamins make my hair healthier? You mentioned off the top of the show, actually, that you were talking to Tara about this. Absolutely, vitamins are essential, not only just for our hair, but for our skin and our nails, mm -hmm. especially with people who do uh, lose a lot of weight, they do notice that they're losing a lot of hair and it's because yeah. they're losing a lot of nutrients that your body was so used to before. So taking a multivitamin while you are in training and losing weight is really essential. Okay. Even prenatal vitamins, even if you're not you know, expecting or planning to expect. Oh, you can take those and they will help, right? Absolutely, there's extra yeah. nutri nutrients in, in the vitamins in that mix of the prenatal that I recommend and a lot of women have noticed a difference in taking it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, good advice. Okay, Philippe, back to you. This mm -hmm. is Kim on Twitter. She asked, help, I got a bad haircut. I wanted layers, but I got something that looks more like a shag. Is there anything I can do while it's growing out? Who hasn't had a bad haircut? It's, a, it's the worst feeling, right? Yeah, and then it all starts with a proper consultation. If, yeah. if you didn't see eye to eye or if you weren't speaking the same language, you can always say, you know what, maybe this isn't the right, you know, stylist or, hair, you know, place yeah. for me. Um, ideally, what you want to do is you want you know to grow it out. Just keep bringing up the bottoms, let those layers grow out, mm -hmm. and then when you have a, a canvas that you think you can reintroduce a different type of layering or the shape that you want, that's when you can do something. But to grow it out, basically, you still should be getting trims regularly because mm -hmm. you don't want the ends to get you know split and start breaking up the hair shaft. So just keep bringing up the bottom until you get back to square one. Do a proper consultation with a stylist that you know you feel like you get along with, yeah. And then try a different style. So shape. hats and ponytails. Hats and ponytails, but you know what? <laughs> There's a lot of things that you can do. It's it's never that bad. Yeah. You know. It, it's just hair. You, know, you never insult someone else's work. You, there's always ways of adjusting and making corrections to fix. Right. It, it, you know, it's it just wasn't designed best for you and right. your hair type. So, you know, I never would really say it was a terrible haircut. It just wasn't right for you. Got it. All right. That's so diplomatic of you. Well, you got to be.
I like that. Okay, Grace, this is Louise uh, asking via Facebook. Is it true that your hair goes faster in the summer? Absolutely. What's that about? Well, you know, you've, you've got all the nice sun on your head and all the natural oils flowing. Yeah. And there, there is a true growing stage. Um, uh, the androgen stage is called the resting stage, which is in the fall, mm -hmm. right? And their growing stage is definitely in the summer. A lot of time people are coming in, they're like, why is my hair growing so long? I'm like, thank God hair grows. You're not going to get any complaints from me. Mm -hmm. But it's really because of, you know, hot, nice, warm summer. They go away to Florida or something. Their hair is speeding up growth. It's a natural oil. Is it, is it the humidity then? It's, because I feel like winter gets really dry and everything feels brittle and you feel like things aren't growing as well yeah, in winter. Yeah, I because it's, it's a lot drier and so yeah. on and you know you have the, the natural flows of the oils and so on and there is a, like a natural growing, growing stage, season stage for your hair and also a resting stage for your hair. Right. You know like if we're for instance in the resting stage we always say put you start using treatments for hair loss. Right? Okay. Because then you're feeding the scalp. Right, what it needs. Right. Okay, to get back on track. Good answers, guys.